this now and then come back to the folder we had on our HTML folder and open HTML folder you can name that HTML folder to whatever you want at a later date once you have all everything set up we got to set up the configuration file and this is the heart of your system uh, it and then click on edit and here what you have to do is put the names of your username in my case I have mother of mother but the new database I created would be Madhav PHP Nuke. Uh, the password was GBP seven zero four one. They that's the username, and then the password was this one, and then the database name was the same as username. You can name it to whatever you want when you created the database. I'm just giving an example. Uh, you should not keep it the same for security reasons, so I would re make it different. Here you can put your domain name. In my case it's and uh, leave the rest as it is uh, you need to change this key site key with whatever you want and I normally change just the numbers to whatever number you can come up with so it's the key is different from anybody else who downloaded the same program when you've done that you save this file once you save the file you can see if it works now it should work uh, type in HTML that's a folder that we have PHP nuking and admin dot PHP when you type that in it's just your domain name slash HTML slash admin dot PHP you should come to your site and it will now that it is installed PHP nuke it will ask for your admin username and a password so you can create whatever you want in my case I just go admin put your domain name here uh, address whatever it is and your password create a unique password for this as well and you can create any password that you want and submit and it asks you do you want to create a normal user with the same data and you say yes to it now that you have created your admin and your password you'll be able to log in your admin by using the username and a password and you will come to your admin panel I hope this video has helped you
on how to install PHP Nuke manually and in the next video I'll see if I can show you how to work with your admin panel.